All right, guys. Well, we're back for another night of Not Your Average Joe's Garage. I'm Landon. First off, we're building this LS motor for my 68 C10. Tonight, tonight's we're breaking into the valve train. We've already had the heads done. We're getting ready to slap them on, put the lifters in, soaking in oil last night. Tonight, tonight is trunnion night. We're going to bust these rocker arms apart using this summit press tool. Kind of cool. Also, we're going to be throwing in this Brian Tooley trunnion kit. First off, hit subscribe, like, you know, you know the drill. I appreciate all the comments and likes I've been getting. We're new to YouTube and uh, I'm having a good time doing it. It's kind of fun. So keep it up. I appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, let's get rocking. All right, guys, we're going to jump right into this and kind of show you what this Summit Trunnion Vice Press Kit, kind of what they provide. Basically, it's this cool little, I'm going to call it uh, kind of like a vice grip. Uh, magnets were kind of a bitch to put in, but uh, obviously because they're magnets and don't want to just drop in a hole. Other than that, this tool basically is for a trunnion, excuse me, rocker to sit right into here and using this tool here to press out just like that, how it fell through. The original rocker, the trunnion, the needle bearings out of this rocker. Pretty nifty little kit. I've seen lots of them. Honestly, I think Summit pretty much killed it with this one. So let's go and uh, see how it works. All right, guys, let's break into this Brian Tooley kit. Well, here we go. Basically, the only thing I'm not stoked about is, is the needle bearings. They're all held in by this little plastic do whoppy, but uh, basically I'm gonna press it through when I, go to, when I go to put it basically on this guy here. Cause basically, I don't know if you can see, BTR calls for the letters on the bearing out. So when I go to put them on this jig, I'm gonna put the, the letters up against here cause then it's gonna get pressed into the rocker like so so all right as you can see this is a trunnion kit plenty of needle bearings it also gives you some some pressed washers as well pretty standard once again kind of wish i would have went with more of your uh your brass style bearing but uh this is what i got so let's rock okay so factory rocker arm summit press tool as you can see it kind of fits right on there right in the jig give it a few turns and away it comes out All right, guys, using this press tool that we just used, use the adapter. I grab a Brian Tooley trunnion bearing. I don't know if you can see the letters, they want letters facing out on the rocker arm. So I put those face down on the tool, slide out the guide, just like so. Grab a little bit of lube. Take the needle bearings and then basically what we're going to do, slap that together like so, throw it back in the jig and away we press until it all the way collapses, pull it back out just like so. Okay. I'm going to grab a trunnion right now, throw it through here like that, and put it aside for a minute. I'm going to grab another bearing, letters, 
there's my letters Let's push out the guide grab a little lube I'm gonna grab the trunnion so it doesn't fall out I'm gonna grab the bearing like so putting it on there okay <clears throat> what I do is I close up the gap make my life a little easier I hold the bearing from the top I slide the washer from below because my hands will fit center of the washer so the trunk you can slide through and press it all the way in just like that and when it comes out you should see your c-clip grooves on both sides it should obviously move nice and free like that so now we're gonna go drop some C-clips on here and then basically finish all the other ones up. Okay, so grab my C-clip pliers, load the C-clip on the pliers. I don't know if you're gonna, I basically push down the back side here, squeeze and go. Just like that and then I basically double check if I'm all in rotate and then do the next side there we go nice and smooth all right, guys, well, that wraps up tonight. Honestly, doing trunnions kind of suck. Uh, they're not hard. They're just time consuming. Um, basically, we got them done using, honestly, now my new favorite tool uh, when doing trunnions. The Summit tool helps out a lot. It's uh, really easy to use with a vise. Um, the Brian Tooley trunnions, I'm going to say, uh, they never fail. Uh, great product. That being said, guys, I hope you subscribe. I hope you follow along. I hope you appreciate uh, and are learning from what I'm doing or if I'm doing something wrong, comment for me, let me know. Um, that being said, I hope to see you next time why we put the heads on and uh, yeah, you guys have a great night and uh, I'll see you next time.